What's up, boozers? All right, Dead Silence, 2007. Ryan Quantin, before he got ripped. What? What? Without his native accent? Mm. Pretty good film. Pretty good film. Directed by James Wan and written by Lee Wanell and James Wan. <laughs> Creepier dolls than this. This is a cute little doll. I am. I'm super cute. It starts off with a couple who are debating whether or not they should get take out because they are something or other is broken and he can't fix it. So he's like, I'll go get some takeout. She stays home and she's got a secret for him. She was going to tell him that she was pregnant. But you don't find that out until later. I, I guess it kind of hints at it when she sticks the, you can see her pink hair back here. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't, that doesn't help. Uh, when she sticks that okay. pillow in a thing. It's okay. Yeah, beautiful. Perfect. She saw this ages ago, like when it came out, I think. I own it. I was like so high back then. Oh yeah, the box gets different. delivered as he's about to leave for getting takeout or whatnot. Then wrap it as a super creepy doll. He has no idea it's where it came from. It's a ventriloquist doll. Dummy. Yeah, okay. They don't know who it's from, uh, so he goes and she, you know, well, plays with it. Well, he even like cuts it open to see. Well, he cuts the case open to see. What yeah. It's well, I think that's afterwards. So he leaves, she's playing with the dummy, and putting a pillow in her belly, which kind of just hints at you that she's pregnant, whatever. And all of a sudden, it goes quiet, completely quiet. You can, you can't even hear the faucet drip or thing on the stove. I forgot what it's called. you're thinking of hush. No. And then the doll starts moving. He attacks her, and he comes back with the food. Doesn't it hear. doesn't matter because she's got She no calls anymore. him into the bedroom. So he goes Kenny. into the bedroom and Kenny. <laughs> oh my God! Thank you, Kenny. Uh, his name is Jamie Ashen in this movie. She's got a blanket over her on the bed, and he's like, "Oh, what?" And he can see blood on the floor. He pulls it back. Her mouth is like ripped open. Her tongue's missing. Then you know, fast forward. There's a police investigation. Police, <laughs> a police investigation to see what happens. He goes back to his hometown. Um, so he can bury his wife, visits his dad, who's in a wheelchair, and this creepy new stepmom. She's, I mean, she's beautiful. She's very loving and affectionate towards him in a weird way. As the movie goes on, you learn about a lady named Mary. Mary. Mary Shaw. Mary Shaw. Clark. And there's a little nursery rhyme, which I don't even freaking remember. No, no, beware the stare of Mary, Mary Shaw. Shaw. She, she had, had no, no children, children, only dolls. And if I die before I wake, <laughs> I pray the Lord my soul, soul to yeah. I don't remember all of it either. Basically, it just says, some, oh, and if you see her in your dreams, make sure you never, ever scream. I'm an opera singer. In case oh! you didn't know. So he kind of goes on this quest to figure out what happened to his wife, what happened to this Mary A Shaw. Quest? I will find the truth of what happened to my late wife. <laughs> Stabbed so many times in the back by the swords of mine enemies. I just tongue ripped out and mouth. <laughs> His journey takes him to, to a mortician whose wife is completely psychotic and says she talks to Mary all the time type thing. And then, of course, creepy things happen there. He ends up dead because of Mary Shaw. Jamie ends up going to... Spain. They loved it. The end. <laughs> <laughs> he ends up going to this really weird old... Theater. 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 Theatra. Theatre. Theatre. So when he makes it to this theater, he's, you know, <gasps> looking around. He finds creepy dead kid that has been missing for years. Um, ends up that, I guess, his lineage made fun okay, of... Well, real, made fun of her, her during one of her shows, saying that it wasn't real... You know, obviously the doll's alive or something. It wasn't true. His family ended up killing her because they knew that she was the reason that he went missing, even though they couldn't prove it. So she swore to come back and avenge herself. These dolls that she lived through were all dolls that she had previous to her being killed. 
So to create this perfect doll, which ended up being um, Jamie's stepmom, and her, his dad was dead and she was controlling him and all that. How did she get created? Who did that? It just, it doesn't make sense. It, I, did, I agree, it doesn't make sense. She yeah. was supposed to be the perfect doll? Yeah. Did you not see at the end? It, the book, like the perfect doll? They yeah, flipped and it flipped it up. over the face. And it was, I didn't it was a picture it was, of her. Yeah, but it was a drawing. Yeah, but it was her. Which is how Mary Shaw lived through her, because she was a doll. She could have lived through the father because the, they turned her into a doll, but I don't. I still don't understand who made her or how. IMDb rates this a 6.2 out of 10. I'm going to go ahead and give it probably about a 7.5 because I really enjoyed it. It had a lot of plot holes in it, obviously. I don't know. I, I feel like I should give it a higher rating, but I feel like I shouldn't because it really wasn't anything substantial to me. But I liked it. I liked it a lot. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to give it a six. I really like the look of it. There's a specific scene right at the beginning where he's driving up the motorway and everything else is, you know, black and white film noir and it's got the red car flying through. It's really sweet. And they kind of keep that theme going throughout that, but at the very beginning of it reminded me a lot of Silent Hill. Like, it goes to the old village and it's all foggy shit there and you, there's the bridge he has to cross to get there. I feel like the acting and the character relatability were terrible. The acting just wasn't that good to me. No. <laughs> I've seen better. So, comment down below what you thought of this film. Make sure yeah. to like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, check out our social media. We're mm -hmm. pretty, pretty fucking awesome. Sometimes we post random things. Stay awesome. Keep busy. Cheers.